All right. Nicholas Kirby on Daryl Brooks. I watched 20 seconds of this. I had to stop. I've never seen this. Let's watch it live together. Um, honestly, trying to hold back a lot of rage. A lot not to want to jump over the table. Is there any doubt in your mind that he's guilty? He's absolutely 100% guilty, but this delay process that he's trying to do and pick apart scenes bit by bit and fraction by fraction is not going to help him. He should have wore that hat to court. Okay, that would have just gave him more points, more stats. Same with the hoodie, the ripped up hoodie, like the working man gear, right? I've worked with guys in a garage like this, dude. Whatsoever. When do you think, I mean, just based on the questions that he asked you today, when do you think his defense this is guy's a worker. unclear at this point? His defense isn't unclear to me. His defense is delay and confused. That's all he's doing. He's trying to use what was first said to me right after a traumatic abuse. That's all he's doing. Yeah, his this guy looks like Phil Margera. is delay and confused. That's all he's doing. He's trying to use what was first said to me right after a traumatic event happened to where at that point in which all my thoughts were jumbled when I was giving my statements to the detectives. You know, I still had a lot of going, I still had a lot of stuff, sorry, going through my head at that point in time when I was talking to those detectives, and I think he tried to take advantage of that and realized that he couldn't. When, when you encountered him uh, by the SUV with Erica and Corey, what was going through your mind then? Was it, I mean, was it a scary Kill. for you being in his presence? No, it wasn't scary for me being in his presence. I've faced guys like him before in my life. Um, I was more worried about Erica. I was more worried about Corey. The hat, I believe, would see the hat. I never for a second thought that this man would drive down the parade route. All I told him was, you need to leave. The police have been called. You need to get out of here. And like I told Court TV, and like I will tell everyone to the day I die, to everyone who is suffering from this, I feel like this is my fault. Ah, oh, poor dad. Because I told him he needed to leave. Yeah, I figured. I feel like he may have panicked in that moment when it was a um, very scary moment for him. And when he heard the sirens, he knew law enforcement was coming, and he took a wrong direction. But... If he ultimately did make that decision to take human life, then that's on him. True. The regret that I have is that I didn't do something more. Mm -hmm. That's rough, dude. I gotta think of that. I've never seen this before. Um, I mean, he did what he did. Who? There's no telling what happened to Erica. <clears throat> or, uh, I can't think of any other girl. Corey. Right? Isn't it Corey? She could have, she, he could have pushed Corey away. Boy. I would have put my life in danger and taken my, had my life taken in order to save every single one of those people. And that's something I can't do. I believe him. I believe him. Anymore. Because now he's locked up. Wait, you said you live downtown, right? So, I mean, this was impactful to you just as a resident of, of Waukesha. Yes, it was. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Wow, I believe him, dude. That's that's gotta be tough. He's gotta be up at night. The what if, right? It really gets to you when something happens and it's out of your control. Like, what if I would have done this? Would it have done if this? Is what would have happened? Huh? Let, let, let's look at more of this. Baby teeth. Let's look at more of this. Why are you searching on Nicholas Kirby? You just see Daryl Brooks. Uh, anybody that's looking, this says Moo Moo on his eyebrow right here. This tattoo says Moo Moo. It's a friend of him, his that died. Eric, Erica Patterson told that, was giving questions on the live stream. Nicholas Kirby. Why are we not? Paperback Bible. <laughs> it, it, 
Sir, would you please make your way to the witness stand? It is up one rider to my right. My All right, so it's like a little bit of this. Raise your right hand and my There he is. The first thing I will ask you to do is That's a that's a Hanes shirt. That's a new Hanes shirt. Believe you me when I know blue Hanes shirts. Last names for the record and then to spell each. Go that's on. crisp. Um first name Nicholas Black. The events of November twenty first of twenty twenty one. All too well. And what were you doing that day? <coughs> what time of the day? Uh, around three o'clock ish. Three o'clock ish. Around three o'clock ish, I was walking with Corey around the walk shop. Okay, okay, Corey. Uh, earlier, well, yeah. And uh, made reference to walking with Corey. Who who is Corey? Corey is a friend of Miss Patterson's. And would it be fair to say that it's also a friend of yours? Mutual friend, yes. In reference to court. Hold on. Let's just look at this suit for a second. Can I go any higher in this? 480s? No. Well, it's 2023. Why should I expect anything more? Huh? Look at the size of the suit right now. And who is that? You do understand, like, that Daryl Brooks is chained to the floor. You right? You understand that? This guy in the background, where is this this guy get... at? He's been, he's been a puppet. Yeah, this guy right here. The... This guy has no emotion, doesn't care whatsoever what he's gonna do. This this monitor is attached to the desk. This can't be picked up. It could be, but it's everybody's gonna know that he's throwing something. Uh, he can't take his shoes off because he's going to have a second. So he's this guy here is going to have a minute to get to do whatever he wants. He could spit at the judge, and that's about what he can do, right? He's going to spit at the women, not the men. But that I think, personally, it's my opinion, it's that worth, right? That this guy isn't afraid of Daryl Brooks at all whatsoever. At all whatsoever. Because he knows the biggest thing that's going to happen is that Nicholas Kirby is going to jump over this desk and come over hey, that, that to I him, am, right? Least. And just grab his head and put his thumb in his eye socket. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what you could do to him. That's what I, I would do. I'm sorry. Yeah, dude, just take his head and just stick your thumb in his eye socket and just hold on until they pull you off. And he's going to lose his eyesight in that eye. <laughs> this, uh, white. See what I mean? Just, just, ugh. School. I identified the street, which is named White Rock, the apartment buildings, and the school. Because there's no way you're getting a weapon into this, in the, into here without, like, somebody on the inside. Oh, and as well as the stuff, Security must be so heightened right now. So yeah. even for the good people coming in, right? On the good side. Did yeah. identify for any part. I identified the entire ge geographical area. Did you heard your friend Miss Patterson screaming? Yes. Screaming? I said do it. So you assume that that's what a person would scream. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I so this guy really doesn't care about Daryl. He knows that there's nothing that him and his baby teeth are gonna do anything about it, you know what I'm saying? Assume that that's what a person would scream when they're in trouble. Kirby could just come right over that thing and just stick his just rip just his eye out. Help. Uh, and hold on until somebody took you off. You understand? Oh, oh, here's some good footage here. I know I'm babbling and rambling. This is about Kirby. I don't know why it's about Daryl's eyeballs being removed. Do you see? There she is, Erica Patterson, the woman with all the answers. There was a live stream with her the other night, and it was. She really broke down a lot of things that we needed to know about Daryl. His. His tattoos, what his tattoos on his neck said. The, of course, the Moo Moo tattoo on his eyebrow. Other things about Daryl and the history and where he was living at the time that this happened. In this video, uh, your friend Miss Patterson walking. Like, 
Right. In the Dawn Woods says all this stuff about, oh, my, yeah, uh, baby, my baby. Right? She had a restraining order on her own son at okay, this time. Okay, now listen. She let him live in the SUV in the driveway with an extension cord plugged into the house. Right? And if you're living in a car, bro, I, I got nothing against it. People have to live in a car sometimes. It, it's, it's, a, it's a tough tough world. But if you live in your mom's car in her driveway with no job, with an extension cord to the house... And you can't even go in the house. That's bad, man. That's the duration that's that she bad. had just come from. There she goes. Talking about the change history. Yep. And that's the phone call. Area you see that you were, she told you where she was at, and that's the area that you were generally responding to with your uh, mutual friend, Corey? Ms. Patterson doesn't know Waukesha. I knew the area she was forced me. Where she was on White Rock. So with be fair to say, you're oh yeah, the claws too. Look at his right claws. Now trying to figure out where she was. Look at his claws. Look at that. That's a man's hand. So would it be fair to say at that point you didn't know where she was? I knew that she was on White Rock. I didn't know exactly where or how or how far down on White Rock she was at that point in time. At that specific time, I did not. It, it, oh, he's baffled. You can make an arrow point in the direction. Oh, okay. There's a banana on the ground now. Oh. Not good Sorry. We got some mad, mad John Madden gameplay footage, dude. Okay. This is the end. There she goes. She's whipping now. Oh, this is sped up. Your friend, Corey. Do you know if she observed... Would it be fair to say we see that there was people that also know him and that I can't wait to see Daryl's new for new trial. He's gonna represent himself again in multiple trials. This is gonna be this is gonna really gonna be something. And a lot of people think some not a lot of people, some people think he's gonna get the keys to the jail when he gets there. That's not happening. Bring any re recollection of keys to the prison? Absolutely not. To you? Absolutely not. Yeah. Just like I was saying about weapons in the courthouse, weapons in a facility like a, j a prison. Using the touch screen, most can of them you come in. If by you see yourself in this video, can you guards. identify where you were? That's the way drugs get in. Right a lot of stuff gets in by guards. And oh 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 oh. She said, come here, come here, bitch. She said, come here, come here, you. Can we pause? Uh, he's got the light on. Running. Wait, who is that running? Right there. Go ahead. Is that Kirby running? Oops. Had met up with Corey. Corey had gotten had walked ahead of me, and her and I were looking for her. I didn't see her right away. Corey did, and she said she just told me she's in a red car. So that was the vehicle we were looking for. Call Frank. Oh, there he is. Hop out his house. Between Patterson being hurt and Miss Erica in Mr. Not the, not the video. That's Kirby. I bet you that's the Chevy hat. But you are present on the scene. Oh, yeah. Did you at any point during this? Uh, Why is his mouth? Did you at any point during this? Altercation. Why is his mouth? I observed her reaching into the vehicle for something. I don't know if it's <coughs> property. I don't know. Minutes and 11 seconds. <coughs> oh, he, did he push Kirby? Pause right there. Did you see yourself? 
come into the Frank. Oh, wait. So that's Kirby. So that's why Daryl is taller than this person. Pause right there. I'm Did you see yourself come into the frame in this vehicle? Yes. Yeah. Maybe they all had a Chevy Trucks hat. I don't know. All right. Oh, that's a little video that I... <clears throat> I didn't know. I've never seen that before. <sighs> All right. All right. That's that.